Welcome to Paper Crafters Library. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this Just a Note 2013 notepad and calendar tin. We've chosen a very vibrant color palette for our designer paper to enhance the cover of our tin and when you open your tin once it's completed you will see that it houses a 2013 calendar as well as a notepad where you can jot down your notes with your handy pencil here. So let's get started. You're going to need a 5 by 5 inch piece of taffy cardstock and I've gone ahead and I've already rounded these corners. Then you're going to need a piece of designer paper that measures 4 and 7 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. And here I am using the Amy Tangerine sketchbook collection and this pattern is Sadie's Story. So this one I haven't rounded my corner so I'm just taking a corner rounder punch from EK Success and I'm just punching the corners, all four of the corners, to round them just like my cardstock piece. So I've chosen the taffy color cardstock to coordinate with my designer paper. So you're going to take some double-sided adhesive and you're just going to center and stick your designer paper to your taffy cardstock leaving equal borders on all four sides. Once you have this complete, you're then going to need a six inch piece of ribbon and here I am using May Arts Satin Grow Grain Ribbon in pink. I'm just laying that across the bottom portion of my matted cardstock, my matted designer paper here, and you want to leave about a one inch border or one inch space to one and a quarter inch space to the bottom. So once you have that laid straight across, you're going to flip it over and you're just going to stick the ends of your ribbon to the back of your cardstock with your double sided adhesive. You can see now when you flip it back that you have this beautiful embellishment of your ribbon. So now you're just going to need some red liner tape as well as your CD tin. And when you purchase these CD tins, this is a five and a quarter by five and a quarter by three eighths inch CD tin. You just open this up. You're just going to take out the insert that's inside of there. You can discard this because we don't need that. And I'm just making sure that my hinge is along the top portion of my tin there. I'm going to flip over my matted designer paper and I'm going to run red liner tape down all four sides of my cardstock here. And this is just going to secure it to the tin. You want to make sure that you use a really strong adhesive for this part so that the front embellishment and cover of your notepad and calendar tin sticks completely to your tin. So like I said, that's why I'm using red liner tape. Just make sure that you use a very strong adhesive. So once you have all of that on all four sides, you're just going to peel off the red backing. You're going to stick your matted designer paper to the front cover of your tin. Again, making sure that the hinge is to the top and you want the ribbon to be along the bottom portion of your tin. And you want to leave equal borders on all four sides. So now that you have the front part stuck down to your tin, we're ready to embellish this a little bit farther. So you're going to need Stampin' Up's 1 and 3 8 inch scallop circle punch as well as a coordinating piece of cardstock. So again, I'm using the American Crafts Taffy cardstock. So I'm just going to insert my scrap piece of cardstock into my punch and punch out a scalloped circle. You can set aside your punch as well as your scrap. And you're also going to need a 1 and 3 quarter inch circle punch. And if you purchased the complete kit, you would have received a Just a Note label. But if you're purchasing 
just the directions, then you would have a PDF. So you're going to need to punch out your just a note label. So I always like to look at what I'm punching. So make sure you center your just a note in the window of your punch and punch that out. So you can set aside your punch as well as your scrap paper and you're going to need some stamp and dimensionals. And I'm just going to flip over my just a note label and stick my label to my scalloped circle. Centering that in that scalloped circle, just like so. You can set aside your, your Stampin' Dimensionals for a moment and you're now going to need some bright pink rhinestones. And I'm going to place a bright pink rhinestone, one of the medium sized rhinestones, in the center of each one of my scallops. So just pull it off and if you're working with tweezers or the end of your scissors um, it helps you place each one of your rhinestones a little bit easier than just fumbling with your fingertips or I find it a little bit easier anyways. So I'm just placing a rhinestone in the center of each scallop all the way around. And then once you have this part complete you will need some Stampin' Dimensionals and you're going to place a few Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of your embellished label here. You set aside your rhinestones once that's complete. I'm going to flip this over and place a few Stampin' Dimensionals along the outside of your scallop circle here. Peel off the backing and then you just want to make sure that your greeting is straight and you're just going to stick this in the bottom right hand corner directly over top of that ribbon embellishment that we've already stuck down. And there you have your finished front cover of your Just a Note note card and calendar tin. When you open this up, you need, in my opinion, you need to embellish this a little bit farther. So I'm going to insert a piece of designer paper and this piece measures 5 by 5 inches and this is found in the same in Amy Tangerine sketchbook collection um, and this is called Carmen's Collage. You're going to need to round all four of your corners and again this is just if you did not purchase the kit. If you have purchased the complete kit then your cardstock and designer paper will already have your corners rounded but if you're making this at home then you'll want to make sure that you round those just to mimic your tin. You're going to flip over your designer paper and you're going to place some red liner tape along all four sides of your designer paper. Again, just like we did the front cover, we want to make sure that this sticks firmly to the inside of our tin and it doesn't move around. We don't want to lose any portion of our designer paper embellishing our tin here. So just make sure that you firmly stick that down and by doing that it will hold your notepad. So now I'm just removing the red backing. I'm going to center and stick this to the inside bottom of my tin. Make sure that you stick this to the inside the bottom portion. Place that in there and stick it down. So now we're ready to add our notepad and calendar. You can purchase these in kits. If you purchase the complete kit then you would have had one of each of the notepads and calendars or we have packaged them and the notepads can be purchased in a five pack as well as the calendars. So if you're looking to purchase those make sure that you check out the Paper Crafters Library blog. So now we're going to stick our notepad down. I placed a piece of red liner tape along the top and bottom on the back of your notepad. There is a 
firmer backing, uh, Bristol board type backing on your notepad. So I'm just placing some red liner tape along the bottom and the top of the backing, peeling that off. And I'm just going to stick this towards the right hand side of my tin, making sure that that's nice and straight. And I've left equal borders on the top, right, and left hand side. You will then have a pencil if you purchase the kit, and the pencil can lie in there. And we're now ready to add our calendar. This is a 2013 calendar. Again, you're going to flip that over so that you're applying adhesive to the back Bristol board backing piece. And I'm going to apply red liner tape to the top and bottom of my calendar. You're going to peel off that backing. Then you're going to center and stick this to the top inside of the lid. So you're just going to make sure that that's centered to the lid and go ahead and stick that down. And then each month you'll be able to just tear off the finished month as you work through the year. You'll be able to keep your notes and pencil handy all enclosed in this super cute Just a Note notepad and calendar tin. I hope you enjoyed stamping with me. Mm -hmm.